Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we are going to go over a box that I have put all the way aside in the corner and have been procrastinating because to be honest with you folks, I really didn't want to have to go through this box but we have to do it anyway. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. Sometimes when I get a box from somebody or I know where it's coming from, I kind of just don't want to go through it because it is a lot or it brings back horrible, horrible memories. So I guess I need to re-roll and explain why this box brings me so many bad memories. Let's just say about almost a year ago or maybe almost more than a year ago, I had a buddy who I used to do some Funko Pop transactions with and he gave me an opportunity of a lifetime. At the time, One Piece cards were at the peak. They were selling for a lot of money. And I said, all right, let's go buy a case. I believe it was OP, the OP3. Um, it was One Piece, the third set that came out. Well, I figured if we held on to the boxes for just a little bit of time, the monetary value would increase. Well, my friend got the bright idea. He got bored one day and decided to open 19 boxes of One Piece cards without even consulting me. Now, I'm not going to name drop him because he is known on Facebook and I'm sure he doesn't want me to ruin his reputation because he doesn't have that great of a reputation as it is stands right now. But I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I gave him the money. He got the cards sent over to his crib and he was supposed to sell them. Well, he didn't sell them. He opened the boxes and it was a mess. And first, he didn't even tell me what was going on. He told me he was going to send the cards to the PSA. But then he said that when he tried to send the cards to PSA, his PSA membership ran out. That's that's the grading process. They graded to like, you know, a 1 to a 10. Maybe not even a 1 to a 10. It, if they feel that it is um, able to be graded and get a, a fairly high grade, they'll grade it. And if not, they'll tell you and they'll be like, this is a piece of shit. Don't even try it. So basically what happened is he sent me a box of One Piece cards and I, you know, it's not even 19 boxes of the cards. I guess he just tried to throw them in all these boxes, but they're all One Piece cards in here, folks. All One Piece. All One Piece cards. And the thing is, I have no idea what any of the values are. I can't even tell you what a common is, an uncommon, a rare, a super rare, or anything like that. I just have boxes. Hold on, there's more, folks. Box, box, you know what? It's another box! And I'm not gonna keep taking them all out because to be quite frankly honest with you, I'm just gonna keep them in the box because I have no other room for them. But yes, I have about one, two, three, four, eight, I don't care, I don't, there's a lot. But out of all these, all of these, the, the, the 19 boxes that were opened, this is what I got from him from the PSA. This box right here. And he said there was about 12 rares that he got sent back. And the PSA did send it, right? So this is from the PSA. Right here, you can see it on the outside. And they sent the cards. He sent me the cards. And they're pretty cool. I mean, I've never gotten any kind of graded things from any kind of company. Uh, PSA is pretty decent. They've got like little numbers and they put their cards in these little cases and we'll go through the one piece pirates, um, sorry, pillars of strength, pirates of strength. They are pirates. So technically I was a little bit right. The one piece pillars of strength cards and we'll uh, have to see what we got. I would have figured that in each box you would at least get one rare. So I don't know where all the other ones went. If he resold them or kept them for himself or he's just lying to me. Now, by this time, I just think he's a huge liar and a piece of crap that has been playing me for a fool this whole time. But, you know, mistakes happen and shit happens. And you move on, you get along, and then you just get loves. What is it? You live and learn and get, and you get lugs, loves, whatever. The Pampers diapers, that shit. You know that commercial? Probably not. All right. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, go through what I got. Uh, the first one is a Koro. I don't even know if you guys can see this card. Um, he is a alternative art. This looks pretty decent. I, he is one of the first villains in One Piece that Luffy, Nami, and Zoro had to fight. It's when they first met up with Usopp. Pretty cool. 
The next one we have here is Rob Lucci. Rob Lucci fought Luffy when he hit second gear. He was pretty husky too. He is a, what is he? A, is he a Zoan? Yeah, I think he is a Zoan form since he can turn into a pretty husky ass, uh, uh, what is it? A tiger, right? Or some kind of saber tooth something. I don't know. I can't remember right now. Uh, the other ones that we have here are Nami, young ass Nami. That's right, check Nami out. She is looking good. I like Nami. Nami is definitely one of my favorite characters of One Piece. And then coming in at number four, folks, is another Koro. So I'm going to put this guy down here. The next one we're going to whip out of here, this top card, folks, is, oh, a wanted poster of Kaido. Pimp. I think this card's pretty pimp. I didn't even think that he would be in the uh, Pillars of Strength due to the fact that they didn't introduce Kaido until about um, Whole Cake Island once he jumped up, uh, off Skypea. Oh, by the way, all of these, as I did mention before, are graded a 10, so they are top tier. The next one over here is another Kaido. I already showed you that, John. Uh, the next one is Charlotte Lin Lin, Big Mom, Ma 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 Ma. Big Mom looking husky, folks. I'm really liking this card. I don't know. I'll try to show it a little bit closer. I'm going to have to get one of those close uh, cameras so I can just show you it and not stick it in your faces like, you got to see this card, you son of the guns. All right. The next one is Arlong. Whoa. Arlong Park, Arlong was a fishman, pretty husky, was bullying the shit out of Nami's village. And then we got, oh, Portis the Ace. Ace looking sweet, fire fist ace. Unfortunately, he did die at Marine Ford, but Whitebeard did attempt to try to save his life, so that's pretty husky. Luffy's bro, they drank the sake and all that shit. Same thing with Sabo, they drank the sake, they're all best buds. And then we got a, Charlotte Katakori, husky ass dude, future site hockey or observation hockey, whatever the hell you want to call it. This dude was pimp, one of Big Mom's, uh, I think it's her second son, yes. I believe it is her second son. And then coming in almost last, we got a wanted poster of a Kid, Captain Kid, baby. Yes, he is looking sweet. Kid is, you know, got his ass beat, you know. Uh, maybe you guys didn't see it yet, so I'm going to hold on on that comment that I was about to say. And finally, coming in at number uno, we got, boom, that's right, Straw Hat Luffy, looking pimp, wanted poster. Eat that, drink it in, whatever you want to do, this card is sweet. Oh, NWO style sweet. So I got these cards, and now I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll put them up on eBay. Maybe I'll put them up in, like, a card channel and shit like that. But right now, One Piece cards aren't fire. They just left Egghead in the comics, and now they're off to Al Albaf. So maybe One Piece will skyrocket in a little bit. But I believe we need to give this some bitching up or down. So One Piece cards in a whole, I'm going to have to just say, you are getting a noob. That's right, you are all getting it up, and for the kid who screwed me over for quite the sum of money, you are getting it down. That's right, you are definitely getting it down. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with another episode of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time when we go over more stuff, more things, and more of the shit that's in this box. I'll see you later. Bye.